Hi everyone. This book is called Australia's Wild, Weird, Wonderful Weather. What do we call it when we have a whole lot of words strung together that begin with the same letter? That's right, alliteration. Wild, Weird, Wonderful Weather. This is a non-fiction book. That means it's not a story. It's full of facts and they are amazing facts all about the weather. Australia has some extraordinary weather stories to talk about. And within our country, we have all kinds of weather. Let's have a look at the contents page. This tells you all the different sections there are in this book. There's a section on seasonal weather, precipitation. Hmm, what's precipitation? Yes, that's right, it's rain. Sound, light and movement. I wonder if there might be some thunder and lightning in that chapter. Disastrous weather. Weather forecasting. That's where different instruments and methods are used to let us know what the weather might be ahead. Climate change. We've all heard about climate change and the warming of our planet. And that results in a lot of extreme weather conditions that we see on the news around Australia and we even feel them. Remember the bushfires not that long ago. And researching weather so that we know more about it. This part is all about seasonal weather. Whatever is weather, weather affects us every day in every way. It dictates what we eat, what we wear, where we play, even how we feel. It's in the air all around us, the atmosphere. Whether it's hot or cold, wet or fine, windy or still, there is no escaping the weather. And isn't that true about how the weather makes us feel? If it's a warm day, you tend to feel a little bit more energetic cold days make me feel like I want to just stay inside. How do different weathers make you feel? This section is all about bush forecasting. Indigenous Australians have inhabited this country for over 60,000 years. During that time, they've adapted to living in the driest, harshest continent in the world, Australia. They farmed, conserved, managed and learnt from the land while honouring the country. This little part here is all about an Indigenous seasonal calendar and it has six different seasons. This little part here tells us all about the different rain dancers and rainmakers that help bring rain when it was particularly dry. Some wonderful, interesting facts there. And I've marked a few pages with my little pink bits of paper. Aha, look at this, all about lightning. This section is called Nature's Fireworks. Lightning forms when ice crystals jostling around inside towering storm clouds create giant sparks of electricity. Sounds exciting. Lightning can be dangerous, but it also gave us fire for cooking and keeping warm. It might even have helped create life on Earth. Sparkling sheets. Sheet lightning is the most common type of lightning. It occurs inside a cloud or between adjacent clouds and it lights up the sky with an eerie flickering light and I think we've all seen that before haven't we? Then we get bouncing balls of fire. Ball lightning is rare. It floats in the air or rolls along the ground climbing over objects and chasing people. Beware before it explodes. Wow, that sounds scary. And there's a whole page here of facts about different types of lightning. Who would have thought? Let's have a 
have a look at this page, Rogue Weather. This is all about the different extreme weather patterns that we have had. The fatal fires of Black Friday. The dreadful droughts, the floods, the fiery storms, a hailstorm and cyclones. This bit here is all about the cyclone that happened in 1974 in Darwin. It was called Cyclone Tracy and it was so ferocious that it left the entire town flat. Not one building was left standing. Such interesting facts, who would have known? This is all about a warming world. I wonder what that's about. The Earth's climate has on, undergone natural cycles of warming and cooling for millions of years. In the past, these changes happened over thousands of years. But now the right rate of climate change is speeding up. And we know that, don't we? Factories, power stations, motor vehicles and other sources of pollution send high levels of greenhouse gases into the air. This is affecting the delicate balance of gases in the atmosphere and it's causing global warming. And a result of the global warming are the extreme weather patterns that we are experiencing. And this tells us all the detail about how it happens and what contributes to global warming. This part here talks about weather in the future and what we can do to lessen the impact of global warming. It makes us all stop and think about what we can do to reduce the impact of greenhouse gases. What do you do at home to help reduce greenhouse gases? And the last section is all about researching weather, what people are doing in the future to find out more about weather. Of course, the more we know about weather, the more we might be able to contribute to better weather, as in avoiding climate change to the extreme that we are at the moment, and it also helps us to know when something is going to happen, like a cyclone or a flood. And if we have some warning about these extreme weather conditions, then we can be a little bit more prepared. Though sometimes they are so extreme, it's hard to be prepared. Such an interesting book. I love factual books. There's so many things in here that I just didn't know. And I loved reading it. I hope you love reading it too. See you next time.